Hey guys, let's talk about a card that was never quite bulk. It was always around $3, but now it has multiplied by 10 to its new high of $35. Now, one thing I will say is from the vault lore, you can get it for 18. I don't know, McKinney Mask, the version, the original version, in my opinion, always looks better. From a standpoint of the Magic the Gathering story, this was a big, big deal. It kind of was like when you were playing Metroid and you found out Samus was a female once you beat the game. That's what happened. The main villain was a female and it was a surprise. That was back in the day when the story was good and they wrote books about it. I don't know if they still write books or they're just dumbing it down in comics and stuff. And I read the Magic the Gathering web stuff and it's not very good in my opinion. It wasn't as good as the classic books. I remember reading the books and loving them as a teenager. I think I was in middle school when I started reading it. And it was a surprise. It was like, wow, that was surprising. And you could buy the fat pack. The fat pack back then actually had a book. So it wasn't encouraging you to buy multiple fat packs because that's not something you would have done. You would just buy the book uh, one, right? You wouldn't buy like, multiple fat packs to get multiple books. Now, those are the good days. Unmask is one of my favorite cards. It is a card I have in bulk right now. So I need to go to storage. I have not moved anything from storage yet, which is kind of upsetting because Amy and I are still trying to build furniture. When I mean build furniture, I mean like attempt to build furniture. So none of that has come out of storage. And you know, I don't know. I have to find these because I know I, I loved this card. It's kind of a princess card before it was a princess card, right? Uh, it was one of the things that I'm, I can collect a ton, a ton of things like this because the artwork is fantastic, it's gorgeous. Now let's talk why it actually went up in price. Old card, not on the reserve list, recently reprinted and a From the Vault set. But From the Vault is such a terrible mechanic that like you can dis discount that. Like from the Vault 20 of Foil Jace, the Mind Scope there is lower than the price of a regular Jace. I don't know, the same kind of, it's the, I feel like they make from the Vault lower quality on purpose. But anyway, let's not talk about from the Vault because that's not relevant here. The card is very good. The card is being played in Reanimator and Legacy. And I don't know why it has spiked all of a sudden. Buying it, supply is extremely limited. It's not on the reserve list though, so they can reprint it anytime. But as a mechanic, uh, anytime you have pack of negation mechanics or force of will mechanics, or look at those mechanics very closely because I can't tell you when, I can't tell you, even pack of the Titan went up like, quadrupled in price one day. I can't tell you when, but I can tell you, yes, that cards that don't cost any, or even Common Dare. Common Dare was a card that was bulk, and it just went up. And Alistair Rider with the uh, new Eldritch Moon card when it first came out, the Eldritch Evolution. Anytime you can put something in for, instead of paying mana cost, you can discard cards, or it comes in, you can return stuff into your hand, like Gush. That card is OP. That card is waiting, waiting to be broken. So as a speculation, it might have taken many years, but it, it paid off at the end, at the very end. So definitely a um, good card. Uh, we will do more MTG financing stuff, mainly because I think Amy is interested in the fact that you can make money from Magic. I haven't told her that's not real yet. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, we make thousands of dollars on Magic Cards. We, like, we break even. If we break even, that's considered, like, good. If we don't, like, spend too much money, it's like when you go to a casino. As long as you don't lose your pants, you'll be fine. As long as you don't, like, you pull out your credit card, you'll be fine. And that's how I treat Magic the Gathering. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.